I got something. I got something. Good size. Boom. This is my bait fish right here. Come on, baby. You don't need to cook them, just make them sashimi style, huh? All right, guys. Can get them now. Whew. My arms are burning carrying all this gear, but I got two dunking poles, one whipping pole, and one bait catching pole, oh. along with half a gallon of water, a bucket with my fishing gear, my reels inside, and my taco box with some more taco. I have a backpack on. I had some taco, but oh, I got some ways to go right now. Check back when you when we get to the spot. Just about there. Going to that tip. So we're gonna fish. I came here once. Beautiful place. Ooh. All right, I'd be careful over here. Push. Oh, what a freaking workout. Nice dry spot. You want to watch where you place camp. You want it to be a dry spot. That way you know the waves don't hit up there. All right. This is the ground, guys. It's the ground. Oh, all right. What I'm gonna do now is get my donkey poles set up and my lead set in the rocks out in the water right now. Ooh. Put all my poles together. Look at these swells coming. I plan on catching live bait. This pen battle has been through some battles, as you can see. <laughs> I'd love to get me one expensive reel one day. But these $80 ones, good for now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get them strung up.
Fishing them up. Alright guys, so this is my slide bait. I'm gonna use that. Uh let me trim this up real quick. Do not judge, <laughs> do not judge me on my setups, okay? I'm still wishing on my one big boy. Oh, look at, the, look at how big this Kupipi is, my God, it's huge. Maybe actually too big, I don't know. I don't know if I should slide them down. What you guys think? Too small, my heart. Ah, I'll let the first one go. That was my kupipi. <laughs> Caught him on bread. Right now I'm going for my bait fish, for my slide. That was a little bit too big for my liking. Let's see what I can get. Oh, getting some nibbles. Add some nibbles. Nibbles again. Took my bait. Let's rebait. A little pinch. Cast them back out. Oh, oh, I got something. I got something. Good size. What could this be? Minui, maybe? Minui! <laughs> Come on! Nice Ninui! <laughs> yeah baby! On the bread! Oh man! He barely fought me though! Look at that! This is a keeper right here! Nice Ninui! Let's fill this bucket up. Look at that! <laughs> no, no, no. Come on now. <laughs> or he can't get away. Let's go down here. water oh that was fun
there. <laughs> yeah. Let's try that again. On this little hook. This little genetic, re generic reel, called him. I want to catch a Hinalea or Mamo. Those are good baits. Slide down on. Nope. I got another one. I got another one, guys. Hopefully my hook no bend. He came off. He broke off, man. Yeah. Those suckers. Took my hook. Nice one, though. All right. Just casting another piece of bread out. Smaller hook. Nibbles already. Boom. This is my bait fish right here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes. This is what I'm looking for, guys. This is a ras. Or the locals here call them Hinalea. This is going to be my live bait for my slide bait. Slide bait rig that is tangled right now. But, uh, yeah. So I'll take them off here. They're super slimy. On. My pliers out. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Now, I want you to catch me the good one. Big one. Just there. Just like that. Send them out. Send them out. Into the fish's mouth. So this right here is how you send out the slide bait. Basically it's just swivel it on. hands swivel it on twist it twist it on like that and then slide them out it's called slide bait there he goes oh they're out there your high point uses leverage and the current is gonna help it take it out as long as the fish is alive it'll swim also taking it down the line called slide bait hit the stopper at the bottom just above the rocks and um, hopefully now we wait for the big bait fish but I'm gonna set up my other pole same technique slide bait if I can get another bait fish yep 
Can't forget the veil. Just to give me extra security. <laughs> Secure it to the base, tie it to the pole. So basically what happened guys, I was filming and it was going all good um, and then my my SIM card got full. I didn't bring an extra one so I couldn't film after that. Um, basically what happened was nothing bit my slide bait that day um, but that's fishing you know. You win some or you lose some or it happens or it doesn't happen. but. I enjoyed myself being out there alone. It's like my meditation, um, just my me time kind of thing. But um, right now I'm gonna show you a clip of what I did with the Ninui that I caught. Uh, that was the first time I personally ate Ninui poke style way, which is raw. And um, yeah, it provided for my family and myself. So I enjoyed myself. So, uh, yeah, watch this. It's a catch and eat. No need to cook them, just make them sashimi style, huh, honey? Yeah, oh no, don't get me. Oh, okay. Well, let's see, try. Go. Oh, babe, Come on, hurry please. Up. How is it? Good. Okay, this is my first time eating it this way. Let's try them. Dip them inside to show you vinegar. Fresh, bro. This is the most freshest catch right here. Literally, literally caught this fish like a couple hours ago. I'm gonna add some of this. Just finished cleaning it. That's awesome. Catch and eat Ninui, baby. Well, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, thanks for tuning in and watching my vlogs. And um, I know I've, I haven't been uh, posting frequently, but you know, that's life. I got other things to do. It takes a while to edit anyway. This, what, 20 minute video took me a couple hours. Um, it's now the New Year's. It's the second. Yeah, it's the second. 2018, January. And um, my family and I are gonna go camping on the fourth to the sixth. We're gonna be on the west side of the island, a place called Spencer's Beach Park. It's a very family-friendly park um, that you can camp at. You need permits though to be able to camp there overnight so if you're ever on the big island and want to go camping somewhere or if you're already here on the big island having gone camping to spencer's i would recommend it it's a very like i said family friendly area to go um nice beach hardly any big waves over there you can fish swim dive um barbecue camp out stuff like that so that's what we're gonna do for three days and um i really hope you guys stick around subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for that fishing video um i'm looking forward to maybe meeting some subscribers there 
I don't know. I invite you guys though. If you guys wanna go fish, get in my vlog, come on down or hit me up and we can work something out. But yeah, I'm in the process of making a list of what I need, what I need to bring, and all that good stuff. So, whew, I bought a tent that was on Black Friday from Walmart and I'm gonna try to sample it out. I opened it just a little while ago. Don't mind my messy garage. It's an easy pop-up tent. Like four person thingy. But it looks decent. Very easy to set up, very easy to take down, less than a minute to do so. But yeah. Fishing trip, camping trip coming up. The fourth to the sixth. So stay tuned and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more future fishing videos. Aloha.